Good morning, children. Today, we are going to be carrying on our class text, France Unpacked. We are going to start on today on page eight, which is ruling France. So, today, France is a republic. The president is elected by French adults voting in an election, just like similar to what we do. He or she then appoints a prime minister who appoints a government. In the past, France was ruled by kings and queens. The monarchy stretched back for over 1,000 years to the Franks, who were a tribe of people who took over France from the Romans and gave the country its name, the kings and queens. There were a long, long line of kings. Many of them were named Louis. They ruled France for centuries. During the Middle Ages, French kings battled with England and other European states for territory and influences. So territory is the space. Costly wars saw the country fall into debt. Extravagant King Louis XIV from 1638 to 1715 built the biggest palace in Europe at Versailles, yet only three that yet took only three baths in his whole life. So his whole life, all of those years he were living, he only took three baths. Louis XIV was known as the Sun King because it was said that the whole of France revolved around him. He was the center of attention. The revolution. In the late 18th century, France was torn apart by an uprising of ordinary people. They were tired of the lavish spending of rich people and the harsh laws and taxes imposed on them by their rulers. King Louis XIV and his queen, Marie Antoinette, were the rulers. On the 14th of July, 1789, a mob of angry people stormed and captured Bastille, an old royal prison in Paris, triggering the overthrow of the royalty, so the royalty were no longer. Marie Antoinette's last words were an apology to her executioner for stepping on his toes. So the last words that she ever said was sorry the National Razor. During and after the revolution, thousands of nobles, including the king and queen, were executed, many beheaded by the sharp falling blade of the fearsome guillotine, nicknamed the National Razor. The deathly device was invented by a doctor from Paris who was and was supposed to slice the head off in just one blow. Napoleon. Shortly after the revolution, French military man Napoleon Bonpast, Bonparte rose to power. He ruled France from 1799 to 1814 and declared himself emperor in 1804. By 1812, he controlled much of Central and Eastern Europe. Bonaparte was eventually forced to exile by a series of military defeats, including the decisive Battle of Waterloo in 1815. France was then ruled by a mixture of kings and emperors until 1871, when it became a republic. So I've got a couple of questions for you guys. First question, if you get your pen and pencils ready and you can note these questions down. How many baths did King Louis take in his whole life? So that is, how many baths did King Louis take in his whole life? Number two, what were Mary Antoinette's final words and why did she say them? So what were Mary Antoinette's final words and why did she say them? You are more than welcome to rewind this video to have another listen again or to look through the book yourself and see if you can find the answers. 
once you have done it all, if you submit them, your answers to Tapestry, and I look forward to reading the answers. Thank you guys, have a good day, I'll see you soon.